Hey guys, Chris here again with Project Nerf, and do you know what the best dart is to fire through your DZP Mark II? Well, let's figure it out. Alright guys, so here we are with the DZP Mark II. I've right, got our speed loaders and I have as you can see here 15 flavors of ammunition so uh, let's go over them starting on the end here uh, we have the Adventure Force Tactical Strike we have a cut down Ekine Waffle Sweet Orange the bamboo darts that were included with the blaster Worker Gen 1's cut down Aki Strike cut down Men Gun this is the Jet uh, Nipple Tip Dart cut down Kush this is the uh, knockoff hard tip uh, ACC prototypes. This is Worker Gen 3. This is cut down Accu uh, Adventure Force Waffle, I'm sorry. This is a cut down Elite. This is actually one of the Halo darts that came with the MA-40. Uh, this is uh, old school, figured I'd do a little archeology span for you here and dig up some uh, Vauberries, is what we call them on the East Coast. A lot of people refer to these as FBJs. These are ones with a hard plastic tip on them. And then this is also uh, an Adventure Force dart. This is the uh, Precise Pro or Precision Strike. I can't remember the name of it. So we're going to get all these on the uh, chrono today for you and uh, see how well they fire through the blaster. And then we're going to do a couple of tests. We're going to test them for range at about 40 feet. And then we're going to do a quick draw on our 20-foot target and see if we can score uh, any hits at all with them. So uh, anyway, let me uh, get this thing loaded up. We'll head over to the chronograph and uh, see what we get. All right, so first up, we have the Adventure Force Cut Downs, the green ones that come with the Villainator that we can buy in the bulk packs of 200 at Walmart. And uh, the heads on these are a little big for this blaster, I think, so I'm expecting some very erratic chrono readings. So anyway, here we go. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. Now we're going to go ahead and do AccuStrike cut downs. Again, I have the same thoughts about these, that the heads are just a little bit bigger than this blaster is going to like. That one didn't even clear the barrel. <laughs> All right, so it really does not like Accu Strikes. Now let's do the E Kind Waffles. Kind of, kind of getting the same vibe from these, but anyway, here we go. Now we have men gun cut downs. These should fire really well, I would think. Well, kind of a big surprise. The men guns are uh, not all that. All right, we're going to go with elite cut downs. Here we go, elite darts. It shoots elite darts. Worker Gen 3s. Obviously should have no difficulty here. We've got the gray hard tip.
very consistent. All right, we're going to go with another nipple style dart. We've got the sweet orange. Again, consistent. It likes the uh, nipple style darts. Worker Gen 1s. Alright, we've got the blue jet dart. That was all of those. <clears throat> all right, Koosh cut downs. Uh, just for the record, these are Koosh Gen 3s. And now, uh, Vauberries. I said, shouldn't have any problems with the Vauberry darts. Here we go. It's a little wild there. And the sun decided to peek out from behind the clouds, so hopefully you guys can, uh, can see here all right i saved the uh three top contenders or at least in my mind for last so we're going to use the adventure force tactical strike short darts uh right now so here we go All right, the red uh, Adventure Force Precise Pro or Precision Strike, again, question mark, I can't remember the name. Uh, it likes those. Right, and lastly, the ammunition that it came with, the Dart Zone Bamboo Darts. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, that's uh, very interesting chrono numbers. Hopefully you could see those uh, those last numbers. Uh, a couple of the darts uh, came in where I would expect them to. Uh, everything else came in kind of low. Maybe I've got a lemon of a DZP Mark II here. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's do a quick draw speed test and uh, see if we can hit anything with these darts at uh, 20 feet on the quick draw from the holster. All right, guys, I hope you know I love you. I had to take my coat off for this segment uh, so I could do the quick draw from the holster here. Um, and it is not uh, warm out here. So anyway, we're gonna get right through it. We're gonna start with the Adventure Force cut down. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna step back here. I'm gonna take one step forward, draw and fire at the 20 foot target. I've got the other camera running on the target. So hopefully we can see any hits that we might get. Anyway, whew, get some blood pumping here. Uh, here we go. E-Kind Waffle. Nope, missed by a mile. Active strike. Uh, 
Oh, came in underneath it. Those were shooting pretty wild. Kushnart. Oh, just missed. Now this is allowing for a lot of user error. Min gun. <laughs> but it's also pretty pretty real to life type scenario if you had to ditch your primary and draw really quickly and fire. So anyway, here we go with the min gun. Oh, there we go. Elite. Just under it. Elite darts. All right, jet. Score with the jet dart. Bowberry. Way high on that one. Sweet orange. Scored it, but it was pretty soft going in there. All right, worker gen one. Score with a good old fashioned worker. I had our hard tip nipple dart here. Oh, oh, veered off at the last second. Worker gen three. Hold. Oh, missed with the Gen 3 worker. It fired well, though. All right, Adventure Force Tactical Strike. Oh, almost center punched it. That was beautiful. All right, the bamboo dart. Nicely done, right in the middle. And lastly, our precision strike, which these fired very hot over the chrono and consistent too. I really liked them, so right, here we go. Oh boy, did it rifle out of there. I just missed it, but wow, what a strong, strong dart. That thing shoots out of these things like a rocket. All right, guys, I'm gonna go collect those. We're gonna load up and we'll do some uh, shooting at the 40 foot target and see if we can actually hit anything with this thing. All right, we're gonna start off with the uh, green Adventure Force cut downs. Now we're gonna try my 40 foot target, so I'm gonna take my time, try to line these shots up. Uh, they were all right around it, but uh, I only scored one. All right, the uh, Aki Strike cut downs and the reason I did these three first is because I expect the worst performance they were yeah that one just farted out it made it about five feet that one literally made it just past the camera right, well that one fired well just past the camera 25 feet tops and five feet again so yeah Aki strikes it does not like let's go with the e-kind waffle cut downs Just under it. Started out. There was a hit. Short. Oh, just under it. And just under it again. Uh, so, worker gen threes. Two hits out of the workers, but they all flew nice and straight. A couple of them sailed over it. Like I said, I'm just uh, roughing this in here, guys, so uh, bear with me. All right, men guns. Oh, just under it. Two hits for the men guns. That's pretty solid. Worker Gen 1s. Oops. Uh, 
Uh oh, little jam here. Actually, it's a pretty big jam. Put these other three back in it. Nothing for the workers. Let's move on. Hey, Vaux berries. Now well, we almost got close with one. Regular elite darts. Close. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness, I hit it. Close with that one. But only that one. I right, and Kush Gen 3s. One hit for the Kush Gen 3s. Jet nipple dart, so here we go. Just under it. Just under it again. No go. Sweet orange. No dice on the sweet orange. All right, the AC, ACC knockoffs, these hard tip ones. Oh, just under it. Just under it again. All right, those were definitely better of the uh, nipple darts. Anyway, we got one more set, so let's get those. Coffee. cold out here today. I hope you guys know I love you. Anyway, Adventure Force Tactical Strike. Two hits for those, all of them right beside it. That was actually a pretty good showing there. Uh, our precise pros that fired so hard over the chronograph these have been my go-tos for a long time in my hammer shot, so hopefully these uh, these show well here. Let's see what we get. Just under it. There was one. Just over it. Just over it again. Those are actually firing so hard my aim, my point of aim was off a of hair. Um, but pretty accurate. And lastly, guys, the, uh, the bamboo darts that came with. So here we go. Just over it. Just over it. Just over it. Uh, scored three hits with the bamboo darts and the other three just sailed over the top by about that much. Uh, they were firing very, very well out of it. Anyway, let's go inside and talk about it. As far as this test goes, guys, we tested 15 different types of ammo. And, uh, eh, some of them were a little sketchy, uh, to be honest. Any of the large head waffle type darts uh, were very erratic at best. Um, and the chrono numbers uh, were a little askew. I didn't realize as I was firing those larger headed darts through the blaster 
that it was leaving a bit of a residue inside the barrel, and thus did affect the chrono of darts that should be fired. We were seeing in the middle 90s on the bamboo darts, um, which is quite light for the DZP Mark II, uh, as advertised. So, what I did, as soon as I was done filming the session on the range, I came home, I cleaned the barrel out, and then lubricated it with uh, dry lube, PTF dry lube, and uh, saw about a 25 FPS average increase. So where we were seeing middle 90s, uh, we were hitting the low 120s with the uh, with the bamboo darts. And you know, that's a little more along the lines of what this blaster should do. But as we tested it, um, there, there were two darts really to note uh, here um, with one honorable mention. Uh, the honorable mention was the Adventure Force Tactical Strike short darts, the gray darts that you can buy at Walmart in the 100 packs. Okay, and they fired very well, very straight, but were a bit erratic on the chrono. Sometimes it would shoot out at 130, other times it would shoot out at 94, other times it would shoot out at 112. So, honorable mention to the Adventure Force short darts. Uh, I realize some makers saw numbers like in the 150s. Uh, out of this blaster with those darts, but uh, I didn't experience that except the odd occasion. Um, far and away, the most consistent dart and the best one, the most accurate and consistent for velocity, was in fact the green bamboo style darts that the blaster came with. Uh, we scored three of six uh, with, again, an unmodified blaster with no optic, allowing for all the human error. Uh, I scored three of six at 40 feet with this thing. So, yeah, the bamboo darts performed very, very well. Super pleased with these. Definitely going to look into getting some more just for the purpose of firing them through this blaster. However, our Chrono King, and especially after I cleaned and lubricated the barrel, uh, was still the Precision Strike Cutdowns. Um, these little red darts with the ribs. The foam is a little thicker on them, and they generally do quite well in a compression barrel. The head is small, the foam is thick and dense. And they work out great. I've fired them uh, very religiously out of my hammer shot um, with the modified cylinder for years now. And they just work. They fire hard. They shoot straight. And they're just a great, great dart. So out on the range, we were seeing numbers in the upper 120s, low 130s with this dart. After... Cleaning and lubricating the barrel, however, with that 25 FPS average increase, we were seeing numbers in the upper 150s, low 160s out of this dart. Uh, this is like sniper rifle caliber and a pistol this big. Um, so I, you know, I could not be more pleased with the blaster itself. It's bone stock. The only modification that was made was right here on the safety switch. Hopefully it shows on camera. Um, right at the top of my finger, I did put one dab of super glue on the safety switch and then cured it with an accelerator. It's easily removed, but it stops the safety switch from pushing through to safe mode when I was trying to do the quick draw testing. So, um, other than that, this blaster is absolutely bone stock right out of the box, and the best dart for it is, in my opinion, far and away, the stock bamboo style darts that it came with. These can be purchased on Dart Zone's website, so definitely check that out to try to grab yourself a bunch of them. Guys, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to email me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Subscribe, hit that notifications button, send me a comment, send us an email. If you haven't done it yet, definitely check out the shop, and you can always check us out on Facebook as well. Till next time, this is Chris for Project Nerd saying have a blast.